he, him and Luthez were probably the first two really big major stars on the network. I finally realized that about 1957, I was about nine years old, and I was a big fan of the New York Yankees. My grandfather was a Yankee fan, and we would listen to the games on the radio, and if they happened to get one on TV, we'd watch them, and I knew everybody in the lineup. So in 1957, the Twins started, and the Yankees came to play the Twins. And my dad took me down to the game and went in the locker room, and here is my idol, Mickey Mantle, Whitey Ford, all the Yankees come up and they just swarm over him. And all they want to do is talk wrestling with him. Wow. And I found that, you know, he was invited to sit on the bench uh, when Casey Stingle was the coach. He went to Washington. They were playing and, they, uh, and then go out with those guys afterwards and they'd party pretty hard. So that was when you, that was when you realized that your dad was. Something special. Guy. Yeah. That he was. Yeah. You know, because those were my idols and here they're idolizing him. Yeah. So. And it was also, he was in the uh, World Guinness Book uh, for the first athlete besides Babe Ruth to make $100,000, over $100,000. And that was uh, in his first year in 1950 in Chicago. Wow. Yeah. It's uh, Joe D later made a hundred grand. It was a huge deal with the Yankees, like a 53 or something like that later. Yeah. And that's, yeah. that's how big a deal that is that your dad well, was, was huge. Big yeah. Big. I mean, Babe Ruth was the, the only one before him that made that kind of money. So he, he told the story that, you know, the first time they, what they did is uh, the territories would usually bring in a couple of guys off the network TV. So they bring him and Pat O'Connor to Buffalo, New York. And I think Lou Thez went up to kill it with killer Kowalski up in Boston. And then Wilbur Snyder and Dick, the bruiser went down to St. Louis. They sent two from the network to the, to feed the, uh, the territories. So the, the plane's late getting into Buffalo. It's snowing him and Pat get in the car and the cab, they're driving to the arena and there's traffic everywhere. And they turned each other and said, Jesus Christ, what's going on? It's going to kill the house tonight. Well, they got there and it was actually for wrestling. They turned away about 20 some thousand people that night. And that's when they, that's when they all realized the power of TV and what wrestling meant to TV at that time. 